Creator and inventor Maxo Chikumbuzo paid a courtesy call showcasing his latest invention of the world's first soft powering vehicles and motorbikes that run just on radio waves. A car that never needs fuel, never needs charging, and can power your home while you drive? It sounds impossible but it's happening. A Zimbabwean inventor, Maxwell Chikambutso, has built a vehicle that entirely runs on radio waves, shocking engineers, and leaving the EV industry scrambling for answers. No charging stations, no batteries, and no limits, just free, endless energy pulled from the air. If this technology is real, it could make Tesla, Ford, and the entire electric car market completely useless overnight. The question is, why isn't the whole world talking about it? Maxwell Chikambutso's story is one of resilience, passion, and defiance against the odds. Born in 1980 in Harare, Zimbabwe, he grew up in the high-density suburb of Budariro, where financial struggles were a daily reality. Life wasn't easy, and opportunities were few. By the time he was 14 years old, he was forced to drop out of school not because he lacked ambition, but because there simply wasn't enough money to keep him in class. Despite having no formal education beyond that point, Maxwell refused to let his circumstances define his future. His passion for engineering was something no one could take away. We are using radio frequencies. So the electric vehicle and the greener power of grid machine, they share the same, the, the same common invention which is called microsonic energy device. He started building gadgets from scrap metal, teaching himself everything he needed to know. While other kids played outside, he was busy creating a radio transmitter, a digital navigator, and even a turbine engine, all without a traditional education or high-tech resources. Maxwell always believed his ideas came from a higher power. He has often spoke about receiving visions at night, showing him how to build things that no one else could. Whether one believes in divine inspiration or not, there's no denying that his ideas have led to some of the most groundbreaking technological developments in Zimbabwe. His journey has been anything but smooth. Many dismissed him as a dreamer, a fraud, or simply someone with ideas too radical to be taken seriously. Maxwell Chikumbuzo, he's claiming a scientific breakthrough with this green energy technology, an electric car which he says converts radio frequencies into energy. But the real danger didn't just come from skeptics. It came from powerful forces that saw his work as a threat. Over the years, Maxwell has faced assassination attempts, including a poisoning incident in the US that killed his business partner in 2017. Despite all of this, he never gave up. Instead, he doubled down on his mission, working tirelessly to prove that his inventions weren't just theories, they were real, and they had the power to change the world. Imagine never having to charge your car. No gas stations, no charging ports, no running out of battery in the middle of nowhere, just endless self-sustaining energy. The, the vehicle it uses what we call the microsonic energy device. The microsonic energy device it is the, the device that I personally invented in 2000. That's exactly what Maxwell Chikambuzo's microsonic energy technology promises. His car, powered purely by radio waves, doesn't rely on any fuel or electricity from the grid. It runs on a system so unconventional that even seasoned engineers are struggling to comprehend it. At the heart of this breakthrough is what Maxwell calls the microsonic energy device. This device captures radio frequencies from the environment and converts them into direct current electricity. In simpler terms, it turns invisible waves that are constantly around us into continuous source of power. The result? A vehicle that doesn't need refueling, recharging, or plugging into anything. It just keeps running. This isn't just about powering a car. The system generates 15 kilowatts of power, which isn't only enough to drive indefinitely, but can also be used to supply electricity to a home. You're driving home from work, and instead of just commuting, your car is actively powering your house. That alone could revolutionize how people access energy, especially in places where electricity is unreliable or expensive. And on top of that, this isn't some slow, clunky experiment. The car can reach speeds of up to 220 kilometers per hour, putting it in the same league as top electric and fuel-powered cars. It's not just a futuristic concept, it's a fully functional machine built to compete with today's best. Maxwell didn't do this alone. The vehicle was developed in partnership with the Chinese automaker Kai and has been backed by Zimbabwe's president, a sign that this innovation isn't just some underground project. It's being taken seriously at the highest levels. With an official launch schedule for February 10th, 2025, the world is about to see what could be one of the biggest technological disruptions of our time. At the center of Maxwell Chikambuzo's invention is something that sounds almost too good to be true, a device that captures radio waves from air and turns them into electricity. This technology, known as the microscopic energy device, supposedly works in a very similar way to how solar panels capture sunlight and convert it into power. But instead of using visible energy like the sun, it taps into invisible frequencies that are constantly present in the environment. Radio waves are everywhere. They come from the sun, the earth, communication networks, and even cosmic sources. 
The idea behind Maxwell's technology is that these waves can be collected and converted into usable energy to power a car, or potentially even an entire home if this process works on a large scale. It could mean the end of gasoline, charging stations, lithium batteries, and even traditional renewable energy sources like solar and wind. But this is where things get tricky. Scientists and engineers are highly skeptical because according to mainstream physics, the energy present in ambient radio waves is incredibly small. While it's possible to harvest radio frequency energy, current technology only allows it to power tiny, low energy devices, things like sensors, RFID tags, or ultra low power electronics. It is half a megawatt and we are relying with the radio frequency behind is a radio frequency converted into pure energy. Running something as energy hungry as a car using just radio waves is something that has never been seen before. Another issue is independent verification. So far, there has been no peer-reviewed scientific validation of the MSCD. Maxwell has demonstrated prototypes that appear to work, but without official third-party testing, many in the scientific community remain unconvinced. The lack of a patent for the technology adds to the mystery, as he claims it's too unconventional to be recognized under traditional patent laws. Instead, he has opted to keep his details a trade secret. Despite the skepticism, the fact remains that working vehicles have been demonstrated. People have seen them in action, and even the Zimbabwean government has thrown its support behind the project. Whether this is an energy breakthrough or something yet to be fully understood remains to be seen. But if it is real, the implications are staggering. If Maxwell Chikambuzo's self-powered car is the real deal, the entire electric vehicle industry could be in serious trouble. Companies like Tesla, Ford, and General Motors have spent billions on electric car technology, building massive battery factories, and expanding charging networks. But what happens if cars no longer need to be charged? The biggest challenge for EVs today is their dependence on charging infrastructure. Charging stations take time, batteries degrade over the years, and demand for lithium, a key ingredient in EV batteries, has led to environmental and ethical concerns including mining issues in countries like the Democratic Republic of Congo. If Maxwell's technology eliminates the need for charging batteries and even power grids, it makes every existing EV outdated overnight. For countries struggling with energy crises, this could be a game changer. Many African nations, for example, have unreliable electricity grids that make widespread EV adoption difficult. But with a car that powers itself, those challenges disappear. This technology could allow entire regions to skip over the traditional energy infrastructure and move straight into a future where power is abundant and free. Beyond just cars, this could change how the world thinks about clean energy. Solar and wind power have been leading the alternatives to fossil fuel, but both come with limitations. Solar panels don't work at night, wind turbines require constant airflow, and both need battery storage. A system that pulls energy from radio waves would remove these barriers, creating an energy source that's available everywhere all the time. Of course, such a disruption wouldn't come without resistance. The oil industry, battery manufacturers, and even governments have a vested interest in keeping current energy systems in place. If energy becomes truly free and limitless, entire economies built around fuel sales and electricity production could collapse. It wouldn't be surprising if forces try to block, discredit, or even suppress this technology before it can spread. So, do you think the EV industry is doomed? Let us know in the comments below.